Now that's the uh, point I was just about to make. This is where it can really happen. This is where doors can open. Now then, Johnny. 85. Richie require 104. What brute going the 16s. Can't get the treble. Truth be told, he didn't make the adjustments very well at all. Johnny, you require 20. Well, couldn't have been any closer 15. with the double 10. Miles away Richie with the first attempt on double five. 56. A little bit more like it with the final attempt. Tops again here for Edhouse. Games on the fourth leg, Richie Edhouse. First break of throw. It was a solid, consistent game. Just came came to a cropper in his board final, round three on both days. 100. Against Dal Gurney and Michael Smith, multiple major champions. So he is starting to get a little bit more consistent. He's not been good in the first few legs of this, but he is clicking into gear here. And this would be a break of throw. 81. Just the single 12. And he finds the bullseye for good measure. Johnny Clayton back in business. 55. Yeah, and while Johnny Clayton's stock has risen in this one, Richie Hedow seems to have plateaued and maybe on the downslide a little bit as well. 85. Chance of a break back here for Ed House. Looking fairly slim right now. 134, Johnny require 116. Yeah, six starts for Johnny from here. Games on the eighth and that will Johnny do very Clayton. nicely indeed. A 116 check out. Ninth leg, it's Richie to throw first. On the back of that bullseye finish, and yeah, all coming together now. By the time we have the next qualifier. Yeah. And who knows where Richie Adhouse might be by the time we get to that point in the season as well. Yeah, that's two treble twenties. You want to stay away from the third and yeah, sensible from Richie Edhouse. Just double checking exactly where that second dart went. He's left himself 17, but he's in great shape here. One for double eight, I imagine, when he returns. But there will be pressure from Johnny Clayton when he does return. There's the single one. That was the easy bit. Double eight is the harder bit, especially with Johnny Clayton breathing down his neck right now. And that was perhaps one of the rack pants why. One of the reasons why he was unable to find the target, Johnny Clayton yes. making that move just a few moments ago, Johnny takes Clayton. out the double 12. And stop Richie Edhouse making it four consecutive Euro Tours where he's reached the final day. What a dart. Doesn't follow. But leaves One tops for the match. Well, it would have been some finale that for Johnny Clayton to finish things off with a 140. Edhouse needs something big, something significant. 133, Johnny, you require 40. Well, that may be too little too late. Johnny Clayton now looking at double 10 for a passage into round three in the final day of action here in Kiel. And the, well, Richie, champagne remains very much on ice. Richie Edhouse all of a sudden in position. Two darts at tops for five all. And out of nowhere, Richie Edhouse has given himself a lifeline and he's given himself a shot. And just when it looks as though this match was slipping away. This needs to be perfect from Clay. He needs all three in there. And he's not going to get it. So Richie Edhouse, six starts from here. But we've been here before. I thought it was all wrapped up for the ferry. It wasn't. You must not go for this now. Oh, he did, Richie Edhouse! 45. Well, questions will be asked. I mean, I think, I suspect he'll get away with it. Or will he? I mean, I would not be surprised in the slightest if there were to be Richie another twist and turn 25. in this one. Richie Edhouse, two more darts in hand here. Double eight. Get and shot. Richie Edhouse leading a charmed Edhouse. life against Johnny Clayton in an astonishing opening match of the night here in Kiel. Uh, chases every lost cause, I think, as well. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I, I just think there's a lot to say about that. Not many, well, not every player hey, does that. Fine. Some players can maybe give in a bit too easily, but you never see that with Danny, even even when he's in the real face of adversity. Yeah, and he's not that stereotypical Dutch player, is he? He's a bit more methodical the way 
he sort of portrays himself on there, but it certainly works for him. And obviously, I go back a long way with Danny, and it's great to see him doing what he's doing right now. He deserves every success he gets. Yep, and um, I mentioned he's not had oh, title success on the European tour, but he has had title success, of course, on the floor fairly recently as well. Barney looking at 156 on double 18. Yeah. Just a little moment of magic from Raymond Van Barneveld. I'm not going to say rolling back the years because he's never really lost that sort of ability, but that is another eye catching moment from Barney for the crowd to get involved with. Still, you feel in the hands of Danny Knopp at this leg. Take something really special from Raymond on the 161. If he goes, another trebleless visit here. Raymond Drew for 161. Important part of the game. Bullseye with the last. That leaves a two dart, a good thinking. And he may take the bullseye from Noppet here to win this leg. Oh, trouble 20. Lead double 15. Six. Well. Raymond Eric won 96. Do you remember that 156 I talked to you about? <laughs> the other finish I like for Barney is the 96. Just outside that trouble 20 bed. That, however, is on the money, and double eight yeah, is found as Pittsburgh. well. Raymond and it's a double break of throw for Raymond Van Barneveld, who is, well, he's in a commanding Kick. position now at 4 1, two breaks up. And um, he's clearly, well, I mean, it talks about making life difficult for pretty much all players out there. I mentioned that title he had oh. earlier this year, battered Stephen Raymond Bunting, beat one. Michael Smith en route to that one as well, and he's making life very hard here for Danny Noppert in this one. And he's on the brink of a 5 1 lead, double 10. Noppert waiting in the wings on 120. Interesting, with three and darts in his hand, he's having problems seeing out the leg. His combination finishing has been so much better. It's a lifeline for Danny Noppert. Can he grab it with both hands? So far, so good. Double 20 for a break back. Yeah. And well. It's a start, certainly. He was two breaks down. He's got one back. He needs another one. It's been a disappointing leg, is it? A bit of a hangover from those three missed starts at the double. And Dan, if he feels that Hubby yet would leave a double, but he can still set it up. Whoa. Set it up absolutely okay. It's simply a maximum only for Barney. Yeah. Well, he had those four legs, didn't he, in that burst? And he, he, he picked up Whoa. those four legs for Danny 112. throwing 59 darts in the process. So he's. He was maintaining a really good average over those four legs en route to that 4-1 lead. As it is, he's yeah, labouring now because Danny, Danny Nopper Danny has made it 4-3. And, and all of a sudden, there's a very different gloss on this match now, a very different emphasis. And all of them has to be appreciated because it is so tough to stay at the top of this sport. And Danny is finding oh, something Danny! from somewhere. And all based on the fact that Raymond missed three darts at that double. That's been the real spark for Danny here. Yep. The 156 not going to go this time. Oh. No, he took it in leg two Danny as he leveled things up with a 12 darter. Can't find it there. Trims off the turn, but can Danny step in once again with a second break of throw? 62 points away. Just the bullseye. Just the one opportunity. Yeah. But he's found it. And he's leveled things up at four apiece, and Danny Nopper is very much back in the hunt now. Barney who's stolen the dart team. Again, may use the bull here. Such a good mark at the second dart. Once again, he leaves 81 after nine. Well, Danny took out 81 in the previous to level, and Barney's looking at the same target in this one. 140. Class. Real, yeah, real class. 81. Just looming up in the rearview mirror, isn't he? Lurking with intent. 62 again here for Barney. Oh, he's hit the single five. He's missed the big number. So 57 away. Barney would love 41. to put that 12 into room 101, Danny that's for sure. 101. Well. Barney with missed opportunities for a 5-1 lead and now for a 5-4 lead. Double 19, gets it. Double 12 for a 5-4 lead. Yeah. Absolutely incredible from Danny Noppert. Ice is coursing through his veins.
158 scored with his first six starts. He knows he needs more than that to challenge Danny in this sort of situation. Danny taking another giant stride towards the finish line. He's down to a finish first on his throw. And it's a very manageable finish as well. There's the family as well. They must be really enjoying seeing this. And Barney, you just sense, has given up. Oh. With a 180, though. He's on a bogey number, but it might all be academic anyway. Danny Noppert here for a potential 11 data. There's the big number, and there's the big finish. Danny Noppert with the 11 data wraps things up. What a match and what a fight back from Danny Noppert. But then again, Andrew Gilding himself, I remember when he won his tour card back after being off the tour for a couple of years, and he said on the day that he got his tour card, I know what I can do. I remember that run I had to the UK Open. I was only beaten by Van Gerwen with 108 average. I, I think I can do that again. And at the time, you'd have been forgiven for thinking, oh, yeah, well, of course he's going to say that. But then he went and won the UK Open. He was right. 36. It's justified PT optimism from Goldfinger. But he doesn't take the opening leg against the darts. 15 darts thrown already for Peter right here. But that's the way to do a hundred finish. Peter Wright, second leg and the third finish. It becomes a bit of a negative spiral, but he does feel he needs to keep on playing and play his way back into form. 87. Peter Wright, 120. In a sense, it's very early in this game, but this needs to go. Needs the treble up. Gets the treble. Big dart. Andrew, you've acquired Gave it 52. some air, but it went sailing over the top. Andrew Gilding will be looking at tops from here. 3 1. Goldfinger leads by three legs to one, and the two time world champion is on the ropes here. Game on. Chuntering away to himself, it's not something you often see. He won't like what he sees now. Thumbs up. Forty-four. Andrew, you require eighty-one. Double nineteen for double twelve for an eleven data. Are you going to go to the fourteens, is he? No, treble ten. That'll leave tops when he hits single 12. Andrew Gilding is now dominating this game. And the average on the sly has sort of crept yep. up to 94 here. It's just pepper 96, 97. Andrew, you require 40. Four out of 10 on the outer ring so far. I'd expect this to go to his favourite double. On the sixth leg. Smack, bang Andrew in the middle, Gilding. worrying times for snake bites. Gilding leads, 5-1. Game on. Set it up, take it out, and it's only a second ever victory over Peter Wright for Andrew Gilding. Set up could be good. It could be great. Could be marvellous. One hundred and four. He leaves himself a two data, and once again, Woody in time see for snake bite. Can he find more trebles? One hundred and Will he be back? Andrew, you require eighty-three. 51 for 32. Okay, six scored. Trouble 19 for double 10. Probably the plan. So a chance slips by. He should have at least had a dart at the bullseye for the match Peter there. Speaking of the bullseye, is Peter going to start that way? Or is he going to be really aggressive on the treble 17? He's gone the old fashioned route. It hasn't worked so far. Not to 51. be Gildin for his favourite double. You require 40. To beat the two time world champion. Game Gilding has done it. Peter Wright is Andrew beaten. Gilding. And Goldfinger progresses to the final day on the European tour. Irrespective of that, he's 2 1 up despite averaging mid 80s. And that's bad news for Wietzki because he tends not to average mid 80s for long. No, and having just, I wouldn't say weather the storm, but having just 
found his stride slowly but surely. You suspect now Humphreys, it would be no surprise if he were to kick on from here. I've got to say, the whole demeanour of Humphreys is such stark contrast to what we saw yesterday from Littler and Aspinall. I mean, those two looked, I thought, looked very jaded, and I think the difference for Humphreys clearly having that extra day to rest up and, and get ready, and of course having a, a nighttime game on the Saturday is another helping hand as well. Luke, acquire 141. Yeah, I thought Little and Aspinall looked very tired, but then again, Humphreys may well be reaping the benefits with a nine darter. 129. He hit one in the final in Budapest at the back end of last year. He very nearly repeated the trick. Double 12 miss for the perfect leg. Well, I thought it was there. 140, Luke, you require 12. 10 data, though, for Luke Humphreys. That will do very nicely Games indeed. Double six is found. Great attempt for the nine data. Hugh Ware was ready Game for on. the big call. Yeah, they just went toe-to-toe -to -toe all the way through that one. 60. It was hold after hold after hold. You just wondered when the break was going to come and... Yeah, eventually the former European champion, Ross Smith from 2022. Just about doing enough, it was a, a real ordeal for him. But the man from Deal doing the business in Kiel in the afternoon session. Did you use that at the time or have you just brought that out now? I like that. 59, Luke, you Thank require you. 142. And he follow up the brilliant setup shot. He might just do it. He might just do it, double 11. Oh, it is world class from the world Luke champ. 164 set up, 142 out, Sydney and Luke Humphreys is sprinting through this now. Yeah, Luke's just taken a little bit of a nosedive there, but it's above or nudging towards 102 right now. And uh, yeah, Biowetsky looks like a man who is struggling for breath out there. 19. To be fair, his demeanor doesn't change much, does it, Sebastian? Very stern faced individual, and yes, yeah, an even sterner look now, slightly sterner look. 136 for Biowetsky. This would be a break of throw, but it ain't going to happen. And uh, Humphrey is on 66. That could be the route to glory for him. And a 5 1 lead. Luke, you require 66. And this one could be over in the blink of an eye. Double 16. Game on the six Smooth line. as you like Luke from Humphreys. Luke Humphreys. One hundred and forty. Yeah, good attempt by Biowetsky. It's not enough. He needed a maybe a full house there to uh, really apply some pressure. One hundred and thirty-three. Humphreys just steps in with a cool two trouble visit as well, just for good measure, and he's down to a. Finish of double 20 to round things off with a 13 data. Didn't do much for the first three legs, the world champion. Then put his foot to the floor. And it has been majestic. The world number one rattles off six legs on the spin. The last four, absolutely sensational. Missed the double for a nine data. Those uh, individual night wins. And it would have been, I mean, he was in a position at one point where he could have had multiple night wins on the Premier League and not made it through. But yeah, he's, he's avoided that particular pitfall. And he's uh, avoiding pitfalls already in this one because he's down to a finish of 52. He's got the break of throw under his belt and Nyman already seems to be up against it. Oh, yeah, beautiful oh, 13 dart to start. The potential 11 data here. It's double 60 in the route. 12 will do. Yeah, well, this is ominous, yeah. ominous, isn't it? 25 darts for the first two legs. I, I suspect he, I don't think he'll be having sleepless nights over this by, by, by any stretch of the imagination, but how much of a concern do you think that will be? Well, looking at his car in the car park, not a great deal of concern. It's a stunner. Certainly beats my deal, Matiz, that's for sure. I've got it. I'll go and have a little glance at that in the uh, in the break later on. 138, Mindly 150. Yeah, well, it's not quite revving up the engines just yet, but he's certainly going the right way about Good. it, isn't he? Michael Van Gogh with a 150 checkout on the double 18. Okay, he's down to a finish, but Van Gogh, if he can find his shooting boots once again, 
should make himself the favourite. I also sense when you get them opportunities oh. against Michael, you've got to be in Michael. 167. Part of his mind will be thinking he may come back. 116 is, you know, it's, it's a gimme. Six. Michael, 116. So can do this. Needs the treble for tops, gets the treble. Michael yeah. Van Gerwen with the 116 check out. That was the danger. That was the pitfall for Vessel Nyman. He would have been hopeful of returning, but I think he would have been fearing the worst at the same time as well. Yeah, I mean, you, you look at someone like Luke Humphries when he first emerged on the on the on these European tour events, and he says it now. You know, it's such a great learning curve for any any young player. You know, playing in front of a, an arena with a big crowd like this, it, it, it can only be beneficial. There's, there's no oh, negatives to be taken from this for oh, Nyman. As you say, tough draw both yesterday and today. And uh, MVG, 140. 78 points away. It's been almost perfect this game for Michael, just what he needed. And what a way to do it. Michael Van Gerwen means business. 36 European titles he holds, but he doesn't hold this one. And with darts like that, he's got to be a real big favourite. He has got some serious ground to make up. He could do it this weekend because he's currently about six grand outside the places. If he were to reach a semi-final, he's back in the provisional spots at the expense of James Wade. But the semi-final on the Euro Tour is not something he has done before. I just admit, I have a little snigger when the Tomlin director said, we're just waiting on one player now when everyone's here tonight. And it was Christoph Ratajski. I mean, he genuinely, oh, you get some players like a Merv King who can be seven, eight hours before being in the venue. Three or four hours is the norm. Christoph Ratajski can be less than an hour sometimes and then get Six. up there and Resident smash it a bit. 82. This for a four visit leg of his own. 17 for tops. Yeah, yeah really, really good from Christoph, Christoph Ratajski. Well, you are not going to see game. any histrionics in this game at all. These are the types of games he has to start winning now. Damon Hetter and Jan van Veen both averaged in three figures in their game earlier on. And it is Hetter who emerged victorious, oh, so he awaits the winner of this. This hasn't turned out to be like that game, and I thought it might with the way that Ratajski had been playing this week, and Dedeco has been playing all year. It's yeah, you labelled it the, the section of the informed players. Yeah, and they're not really backing me up on, on that right now, not these two anyway. But this might get him going, double top. Yeah, yeah proper stuff, much better. I have, and he is an interesting character, but he also, in the same way as a player in interviews, he does not give much away. 96. He's very matter-of-fact, and there may be a language barrier there, but having spoken to fans in Poland, he appears to be rather similar when he does it in his native tongue. He is a businessman when it comes to darts, and he has done some serious business in this game, the former world master. An open bed. No score. Yeah, that just little like chatter to himself there. 51. This would hurt. Maybe something special to separate these two. And it's on. Oh, what a finish, Mike De Decker. We've questioned his bottling big finishes like that. And that rise right smile, that 120 finish, the double top, and the 151. On you. Number one, two, three in the world do have quite nice throws as well. But they're not Steve Beaton. Oh, Easy. <laughs> oh, Ratajski. <laughs> oh, Christoph Ratajski. <laughs> oh, seen this this week as well. Such a crowd pleaser of a finish. He's got a chance. Oh, it's a masterclass of finishing right now. If Mike De Decker's reacting like that, you know it's good. And it was good. Could punish it, you know. He could, you know. Another one of those. It's still good enough to cause the Decker problems, but some plus checkouts haven't really caused him many problems.
He's got three already in this match. Now, where's he looking? Yeah, I thought, I love the idea. It didn't work, but Treble 18 would have given him a dart. It's definitely coming it's to the modern nice. game, that Treble 18, double 19. It was an attempt at 70 in the previous level for Ratachki. This time it's 68. It's only going to be one dart. And you sense the way Dedeck is finishing. This has to go. Game to the ten leg, Christoph Ratajski. The street fight goes to a last leg decider. The 11th and final leg is Christoph to throw first. Character, courage, that's what you need in a last leg shootout like this. There's the pressure. But these are the hours that you practice for moments like this to get to the finals day. Over to you, Mike. To reach the final day, the Baltic Sea darts open. It's a loose dart. But he gets a match dart at tops. Four and he has people. missed his chance, and it may be the only one Christoph he gets. Christoph didn't watch any of those darts. It's had absolutely everything this game. Double 15. Wow, he just took an age, Dan. They have both missed Swing. chances to win it. De Decker comes back to the board. If it was 120, you'd back him the way this game is gone. But can he take it out when it's just 20? Yes, yes he can. And De Decker battles through. Christoph Ratajski misses two for the match. But I just think it's a really intriguing game two players you've got levels they've got gears 97 yeah we love it Bartons as you say making his first European tour appearance since 135 that's a very impressive showing in Belgium last year where he took Luke Humphries to an 11th leg by the way Bunting looking at 50 now for the opener double 16 Nicely yeah, done from Stephen Bunting, a 110 check out, setting the tone very nicely and maybe just as well because Bartons was maybe eyeing up that 1-3-6, but that's a promising start for Bunting, 1-0 on throw. Well, we have seen a 1-6-7 check out today and Bunting won't be taking it out this time. 97, and you require 170. Just looking to take care of business on throw, Stephen Bunting, with Bartons unable to find the 170. And 60. Uh, task that Steven Bunting has now. Now he's got that 70. break. So, double 16. Game from the fifth Smooth leg, Steven from Stephen Bunting. Sixth leg, Andy to Very the assured. First. Never looked in any grave danger there. It was nice and fluid. There was a good 96. motion about all that on the European Tour this year. And maybe another title for the Masters champion. 95. It's been a while since he's had a ranking title. Three years or so. Maybe something that he'll want to address. I'm not sure how bothered he would be about that. Given been he is knocking on the door though, hasn't he? That's the thing, yeah. But One, uh, when you are knocking on the door, you feel as though you might you just want some more tangible reward. But I think Bunting will take a lot of comfort from the fact that he did pick up that Masters title earlier this year. Eighty-four. Got him a call up for a couple of World Steven Series Uri events as well. Back on the World 81. Series. Was on it when he moved over ten years ago. Number twelve. Oh, Game the finishing the is really Steven good Bunting. tonight from Stephen Bunting. That is an eleven darter, the best leg of the match. Yeah. Great. Beautiful. Oof. Eighty-five. Well, it was. But he's down to a finish of 96. He's on course here for a potential 11 data. And it might just be enough to sow one or two seeds of doubt. 5 1 becomes 5 3. And who knows what tricks that might 55. play. 55. And you require 96. Double eight. 80. Misses the double for a 12 data. He will return. To turn 5-2 into 5-3, having been 5-1 down. 
42. Yeah, maybe this and is a, a right off for Stephen Bunting, this leg. Double eight here for Bartons. Game yeah, taking the eighth leg, Andy double eight on the second opportunity. Leg, and Stephen. Might they be singing Andy Barton's name in a few legs' time? Could go to the ball here, that would be sensible. 60. Oh, you see, a 25 Stephen there. Extra Greenwire, five points leaves him treble single double. 60. Well, it's in the balance, this one. Bunting needs to shut out the distractions behind him. And it's all just going 40. a little bit awry at the moment. Rick just the 40 scored. 1 2 2 plays 1 10 8. Barton's on strike first. He's got the treble 18 for good measure. Single 18 to leave the bullseye. 83. And he was some way off. Stephen, you require that was a dart to break. 20. Had he hit it, he'd be throwing for five all. And Stephen Bunting going through the routine again. He knows he can shut this down right now. If he doesn't, it could go on and on and on. Does it go on? Or does Bunting go through? Bunting yeah, goes shot. through. Ton plus finish to seal the Stephen deal when the beast from the east was starting to breathe down his neck. It's a very tricky customer. Yeah, just the, just the one run of note in Europe last year for Razma, the uh, third round appearance in Sindelfingen at the end of May. Did just about enough to qualify for the European Championship with £16,500. He was just above that dotted line at the bus of the table. 134. 1-3-4 for Chizzy for a 2-1 lead. 74 away. Well, double seven. I guess the only problem with that eyesight issue is the fact he's having Madison to stop to double check with the referee. Has had a trial with glasses, I think contacts as well. Hard to say, I don't think Madaz has missed it out of treble 19 52. so far in this game. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he does lose a little bit of fluidity there, doesn't he, Chizzy? I mean, well, laser surgery is another option that he could have, I suppose, Games with the eyesight, the but 20-20 um, vision there for double seven, and... Chizzy back in front at 2-1. That's, that's almost been the story of the match so far. It, just when it looks as though things might be encouraging, a loose start comes in and the player has to go back to square one. Just brings Chizzy into the leg because 79. You'd expect Madars to get a dart at least at tops. Oh, the ball. It could be a happy accident, you know. Chizzy struggled on the bullseye. Well, Rasma have the same issue. Yeah, this could be ironic, really. 54. Just the 25, but again, he just had to Did take that extra time, 52. didn't he? And it just adds to the process, doesn't it, when you have a, a missed dart or a wayward dart like that. He had to just quickly reassess where he was going. And Chizzy left with an opportunity here, 82. This time he finds the bullseye. Irony of iron is there, double 16. Game two dart combination for Chizzy for a 17 Game data, and goal. there is the all important first break of throw. Joe Cullen awaits the winner of this one, by the way, the number 16 seed this weekend. He was catapulted into the seeds after Gary Anderson and Gerwin Price withdrew. Chizzy potentially wanting to set that one up and going the right way about it. This is more like it. Now, on course, maybe for an 11 data. Yeah, it's been about the last 16 a lot for Chizzy, last 16 for a couple of games on the. Pro twos this week. There's a last 16 where he played Cullen at Austria a few weeks ago. Could be a dart away. A 5 2 lead here. Back to his beloved ball. 61. Well, he knows what's happening here. When he wants the bullseye to finish things off, he's not hitting it. When he's looking to set it up for 82 checkouts, he, it's not a problem. If a change you won 82, then I think's the answer there, Rob. Well, that's, that's the thing. Right now, he's second best is Madars, but treble 17. He understands the situation very well. Big moment here for Chiz. You feel it's been an unassailable lead. Well, the demeanour of Rasmo, the body language is not encouraging, is it? That's, that's the other thing. He's almost his own worst enemy, really, at times. But Chizzy not standing on ceremony. Not quite game shot and the match just yet, but pretty close to it. Yeah. Madars might say, well, 
commentators, I'm averaging 111 with my first nine. I'm averaging just shy of 96. I'm a leg away from taking this match. Give me a break. Still got to ask the question, though. But yeah, I mean, he's, um, he's still in a good position. There's no doubt about it. And so is Chizzy now. Is it the beginning Madison of the end? It's the Nelson for Rasma. All the ones with Chizzy sat pretty on 68. Once again, taking his own time. Surely starts on the 19s this time because he can barely miss it. Yeah, that leaves 54. Big number for tops. His steely eyes. Oh, is he going the 18s route? He is. Is that a good marker? No, is that a move over? Can he see enough of the bed? Just oh, enough. Wow. What a finish, what a fight back. Well, I take it all back, Rasma, about the switching from the 19s to the 20s when it might seem a little bit unnecessary because that is a wonderful moment for him. A 1 1 1 checkout with Chizzy lurking on 68. There. He has to go for the treble 20 this time. Double 18 saved him. I think he wanted to go there. He's desperate to go for the big 20, but such an awkward first start. Tops for the match. 36. Dave, require 100. Well, how hopeful will Rasma be of returning? I suspect he'll be fairly hopeful, but you just never know with Chizzy sometimes. 150 points away. Rasma will return. 90. Oh. He's demonstrated Madison all the qualities to have wins over Chris Dorby and Dave Chisnell on your CV this week. It's a little unexpected, but he's put himself in the position. Is he taking too much time? Manas Rasma taking his time. Three clear darts at double 20, a long way south. Has to switch to double 10. And this time he gets the job done. It's a 14 dart finale for Maras Rasma. It's a four leg burst as well for Latvia's number one. They almost collide as they celebrate, or as Rasma celebrates, I should say.